Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very short one. And that is my fault. I have done a lot today, so I will just sit and tell you about what I've done today. So, I probably mentioned this, but 8am I had a driving lesson. My second one, which is really exciting. It was really, really good. I was nervous again when I got into the car, but once I started driving, like after half an hour, I was fine. Anyway, my next lesson is not until the 1st of December because I didn't realise how quickly she booked up and I had only booked my first two lessons. So, yeah. I don't have another lesson for a month, which sucks. I'm really excited to drive again. The driving instructor thinks that I am ready to go with my mum, but I don't think so. I think I'm not good enough at braking it. Like, I think I still need a bit more practice with the braking, which I guess I could get by going around, like, the streets when it's quiet. Anyway, I'd rather just wait till my next lesson before I drive with my mum. I definitely need a bit more practice on turning as well. It's, it's not easy to drive, don't get me wrong. Anyway, what else did I do today? Oh, yeah, I went to the farmer's market, which is where I volunteer every month. So the first Saturday of every month... There is a farmer's market, and what I do basically is I help to set up. Like, you put the marquees up and things like that. You set up an eating area for people to come and eat what they buy from the stalls. And then, also, at either end of the car parks, you've got people that direct traffic in. You've got people that will take the money. It's a gold coin donation to get in, basically, because it's raising money for the Rotary as well as other community organisations. So that's how I got involved with it. I was volunteering as a scout leader and I liked it so I decided to continue doing it and I think that was actually in November. My first month was November and so it has been a whole year of me volunteering at the farmer's market which is pretty great. I haven't been every month because I'm not always, sometimes I might be away on the first Saturday of the month. Anyway, yes, that was fun. And another job that we have also is a barbecue. So for five dollars you can get a bacon and egg muffin and we sell soft drinks or water for one dollar. Or is it two? Two dollars I think it is. And that just helps to raise more money. And I like doing that job because it gets cold sitting under the under the marquee collecting the money. It's not cold by the barbecue, so yeah. And then after that I went and had lunch. I had Indian. So basically saffron rice a spinach and potato dish and a dish that had lentils. I don't know what they're called because they just have the Indian names and so I just asked for the spinach and potato. So you just get the rice and then you get two dishes on top of the rice and it was really really good. It was spicy but that's fine I can handle it. <laughs> and then after I had my lunch I went for a workout because my gym is in the shopping center. So went and had lunch, went to the gym and the shopping center is right across the road from where I do the farmer's market so I walked over there yeah now I am editing a video and then at 7 p.m. that's in an hour I am meeting up with a friend at the same park that I was doing a market at on the other side of the park there's I don't actually know what it is I found out about it today and thought it would be fun but I think it's just a carnival they'll have food trucks with food I saw rides I could hear them play music that started at 12 and I finished the farmer's market about 12.30. That's what, basically when we finished packing up and I went to the gym. So that's going to be fun. We're going to go from 7 to 8.30 because he's heading into the city afterwards. And there's a train station right across the road from this park. Everything is just so handy. It's great. So he's going to take the train from Southland Station into the city. And yeah, that is the plan. I will definitely be vlogging at this carnival and you can meet my friend. Yay! Anyway, I will see you guys soon at the carnival. Bye! Okay, so at the farmer's market they have these amazing sweet potato and veggie patties and I haven't been to the farmer's market in a couple of months actually. It had been a while. So I got some and I'm going to have one now. It's not quite dinner time, it's only 5.30. Oh no, it's later than now, it's 5.50. I don't know why I thought it was 5.30. Yeah, it is 10 to 6, so I'm going to have one of them because I am absolutely starving. Um, I'll show you what they look like. They're homemade, so they're really nice. And the business the business is only down in Brayside, so it would be easy for me to go and grab more. But anyway, for some reason, I just didn't. Anyway, 
This is what they look like. Sweet potato veggie burger. They're really easy to cook. You can either put them under the grill or in this one here, which is what I'm going to do because that's easiest. Oh man, I'm so excited. I think for now I will just have one. If I get hungry later, I'll have a second one. Though also I think maybe I should cook the second one out and eat it later because I definitely will want another one later. They're that good. Um, yeah, I'll just cook another one now. Right, there we go. It's actually a really nice day outside. You probably can't tell, but the sun is shining. It's beautiful, a little bit windy, but it is nice. Once I finish the farmer's market, I realize how warm it had gotten. It's great. Oh man, it's really sizzling now. <laughs> So when it's done, obviously this will turn green and they'll be nice and crispy. I don't usually flip them. Anyway, I think these are actually vegan, which is really good. I'm not vegan, but for vegans, that's good. It's not focusing. Yeah, no eggs, dairy, peanuts or tree nuts. That is vegan. That's really good. So my mum drops me off at the farmer's market and she usually will get some fresh fruit and veggies. So yummy strawberries and she got mushrooms. I'm not really a big fan of mushrooms, but she loves them. So yeah, I like cutting them. It's satisfying because they're so soft and they cut so easily. And yeah, weird flex, but okay. <laughs> anyway, the thing hasn't turned green, but I know that they are done. So yeah. Oh, wow. It just turned green. What a coincidence. <laughs> there we go. As simple as that. Well, this is awkward. We have run out of bread. I don't know when that happened. So I was going to make like a, a burger just because I don't have burger buns, which I just didn't think about. I could have gotten them at Cobbles, which is near the gym. Pretty much opposite. Anyway, I was going to put some spinach, just use up this spinach here. But that's fine. I was just going to put these sauces on anyway. I do love a meal, a lot of sauce. So that'll be nice regardless. I'll just cut it up with a knife and fork and enjoy it. So I just got to the carnival. I'm just going to be waiting for my friend. We decided to meet a little earlier just to get the, the daylight. He is going to take some photos. I'm obviously going to be vlogging. Maybe taking photos too. So it's, it is 6.37. He said to meet at 6.45. I thought the drive over here would be longer. So anyway, I'm not really at the entrance of the carnival but you can see a little bit of it over there. Well, not really, but there's like dodging cars and other things. But I will show you more when my friend gets here. So this is David, my friend. He's just taking photos of that drone that is over there. Oh, you can't see it. I'm looking at the Ferris wheel now. I can't even tell what, the, oh, there's the drone. You can't see it on the camera. It's so faint. Yeah, it's that little dot right above the Ferris wheel. So we're going to head into the festival but it's a gold coin donation and Dave doesn't have any so we're going to the petrol station behind us. Because I'm well prepared. Yeah. Well I didn't know either. I'm just lucky I had a dollar coin. <laughs> I like your shirt. Thank you. I uh, found it on the ground outside a dumpster. Oh really? <laughs> Blood orange infusers, we've got lemon and elderflower and white peach and ginger. So for the next hour, guys, get to the bar, to Beverly's bar, of course. Lemon Two beer. for one, Sophie Spritzes. It's Saturday night, it's party time, let's have some fun. Thank you. Well, if you go on the first floor, we get a good shot.
So there's a bar called Beverly's Bar and we got something called Sophie Spritz. What flavour do we get? Blood orange and something? Bitters. Wine flavour. Oh, okay. I think David's it's just putting the strap on his camera. David's giving up. David's giving up. Oh, okay. Free water. That is a good initiative. Chocolate ice cream? Yeah, chocolate ice cream. Yeah, that's mine. Thank you. The Nutella is literally falling off. So what? <laughs> Look at this, the Nutella is literally falling off it. Yeah, it's gonna be good though. I got chocolate instead of vanilla because bleh, vanilla. <laughs> I thought they were out of spoons and I was like, oh gosh, how do I eat this then? It's like fully loaded though. Look at it. What diabetes also it's all over your hands. Yeah, I know. I forgot to end yesterday's vlog so this is me doing it the next day I hope you enjoyed watching the carnival vlog as much as I enjoyed going I really like today's footage actually so anyway yeah thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time bye guys